hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i'll be showing you guys how to install windows 10 on the mac um, using vmware and it's this app right here vmware fusion you can download it for free and i'll show you the whole process on how to install it but first we need to download windows 10. so in order to do that i'm going to put the link on the description of this video but you need to visit the microsoft web page and you can download this is completely free you can download the windows 10 iso file and all you need to do is go here to select edition we're going to install windows 10 confirm and after that you need to choose your language i'm going with english Confirm. It's going to give you this page. And lastly, it's going to ask you what version. I recommend the 64-bit version. So I already have this downloaded. It's right here. So all you need to do is click here and it'll download. It'll take around a couple minutes, depending on your the speed of your internet. Once you have that downloaded, then you can install VMware Fusion. You can, I'll put the link to this um, website as well. And you just need to go here where it says download now it's going to give you the free version and you can try it using 11.5 i would download the pro version um, if you want to know how to get it completely free i will make another video about that but for now just try out the the free version so i have it here already downloaded i'm going to open it up here setup so all you need to do is double click here to install uh, then you have to type in the password. I'll type in my password really quick. And initializing. So you're going to agree to the terms. License, I don't have it right now. So I'm just going to put, I want to try the free version. Which one you want to do? Let's go with the pro version. Continue again asking for my password. Put your password in. Uh, I always untick this. Click done. Ready. That's it. Now from here, you just need to install the ISO image. And it's really easy. I already have it um, right here on my desktop. So I'm just going to click this, grab it, and slide it over. So here i have my disk image now the next thing you need to do is just hit continue we're going to go to legacy bios continue customize settings and then you can put any name you want i'll just leave it the default save and okay now this is very important so this menu bar here it will help you configure how you want your windows 10 um what settings you want on it so let's go here to processor. You can choose how many cores you want. I'll leave this one on four cores. Memory, um, recommended is two gigs. Uh, I'll push it up to eight gigs. Eight gigs, yeah. My Mac has 16 gigs, so I'll use half of it for Windows. Go back, you can choose how much space on your hard drive. By default, it's 60 gigabytes. Uh, that's the recommended. I, I would leave it on 60 for now. Later on, you can change this, but for now, you can leave it on 60. Um, there's a, you can use the camera from your MacBook, uh, the display, the, the GPU, accelerate. I would keep this accelerated 3D graphics. I'll leave that on. Show all. What else? Um, I think that's that's it for now. Um, keyboard, printer, USB, sound card. All this would use your Mac. So once you have this ready, you can exit out and hit play here and it's going to start loading. I'm going to make this big. Let's make this bigger. And it's just like your typical Windows installation. It's going to run through the whole settings. So here we go. This is the Windows 10 setup. Let's run it through it really quick. Hit next. So English. We're going to do install now. Setup is starting. Okay, we're going to hit accept. 
next right here you're gonna choose custom install click on custom install and you're gonna do new and apply press ok there you go you have your partition next and that's it it's gonna install windows this should take no more than five minutes should take really it should be really quick so the great thing about installing uh, VMware and having this on your Mac is you can run it simultaneously with your Mac if you have a special program you want to use for Windows that's specifically made for Windows you can have it running and keep it as a win an extra window on your Mac desktop um, I use it for work a lot but it's 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 all depends on you know your your use case all right so windows is just loading up now it only took um, about five minutes to to install but um we're almost done here just give it a couple more seconds all right, so this is your typical Windows setup. We're just gonna go right through it. Hit yes, United States. Keyboard, US, skip this for now. All right, we're gonna set up for personal use. We're gonna click there and hit next. Uh, for here, I recommend just doing offline account unless you wanna put your email account here, but let's just do offline. Get limited experience. And here we're just gonna put any name. We're gonna do admin. Next, password, I'm gonna leave that blank. No password. Uh, do you want to okay yes and accept I'll just go right through this quick accept and uh, guys we got Windows 10 on the Mac it's VMware Fusion Pro we have this on the Mac I'm just gonna it's really nice having this side by side with All right, guys, here you go. Windows 10 on the Mac. Welcome to Windows. All right, so let's close this out. I'm gonna show you guys the interface. We're gonna go to, we're gonna go to the folder, open folder, file explorer, this PC, right click, properties. And we got there Windows 10 Pro. This is the eight gigabytes. This is what I set it up for. And the hard drive is right here, 60 gigs. So that's it guys. Um, this is Windows 10 on your Mac easy. If you wanna know how to install VMware for free, uh, I'll do a separate video on that. Um, legally, yes, legally, I'll show you how to install it. All right, so thank you guys for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, uh, like, comment. If you have any questions, um, I'll, I'll, I'll look at the comments and I'll answer all your, your questions. Thank you guys and I hope to see you on the next video.